International Memorial Day Blending Conference, May 2023. General Subject Knowing, Experiencing and Enjoying Christ, as Revealed in Philippians. Message 3 Being one in soul to enjoy Christ, by thinking the one thing, by being one with Christ in His inward parts, and by allowing God to operate in us, the willing and the working for His good pleasure. Day 2 Outline Roman number 1 Strictly speaking, Philippians is a book, not only on the experience of Christ, but also on the enjoyment of Christ. The experience of Christ is primarily in our spirit, but the enjoyment of Christ is in our soul. Our mind, emotion and will. Capital A. Since Philippians is concerned with the experience and enjoyment of Christ, which issue and joy, it is a book, filled with joy and rejoicing. Capital B. The saints in Philippi had fellowship, unto the furtherance of the gospel, through the Apostle Paul's ministry. This participation included their financial contributions, to the Apostle. Number 1. The Christ experiencing and Christ enjoying life, is a life, in the furtherance of the gospel, a gospel preaching life, not individualistic but corporate. The more fellowship we have, in the furtherance of the gospel, the more Christ we experience and enjoy. This kills our self, ambition, preference and choice. Number 2. Whether we speak or remain silent, our life, our living, our being and our entire person, must be a preaching of Christ. Capital C. Paul charges us to conduct ourselves, in a manner worthy, of the gospel of Christ, which is to stand firm in one spirit, with one soul striving together, along with the faith of the gospel. Number 1. To be with one soul, and to be like sealed for the gospel work, are more difficult, than to be in one spirit, for the experience of Christ. Timothy was a brother, who was like sealed with the Apostle Paul. Number 2. To be with one soul requires, that, after having been regenerated in our spirit, we go further, to be transformed in our soul. Number 3. If we are not one in our affections, thoughts and decisions, we are not with one soul. As long as we are not one in soul, we are not in the fellowship, unto the furtherance of the gospel, and our conduct is not worthy of the gospel. Number 4. When all the members in the church, are in one spirit with one soul, this oneness will be convincing, subduing and attractive. And we will experience Christ and enjoy Him. Capital D. It is possible for us, to have the experience of Christ, without the enjoyment of Christ. The problem here is with our soul. Our mind, emotion and will. Like children who are made to eat, without enjoying their food, many times, we experience Christ without enjoying Him. Capital E. I am somewhat concerned that you may not have very much enjoyment of Christ. The reason, that many lose the enjoyment of Christ, is the problem they have, in the soul. If you do not have much enjoyment of Christ, it indicates, that you are not one in soul, joined in soul. Morning Nourishment Philippians 1.27 Only, conduct yourselves in a manner, worthy of the gospel of Christ, that you stand firm in one spirit, with one soul striving together, along with the faith of the gospel. Philippians 2.20 For I have no one like Sold, who will genuinely care for what concerns you.
Romans 12 2. Be transformed by the renewing of the mind, that you may prove what the will of God is. We need not only to stand firm in one spirit, in order to experience Christ, but also to strive together with one soul, along with the faith of the gospel. To be of one soul for the gospel work, is more difficult, than to be in one spirit, for the experience of Christ. To be of one soul requires, that, after having been regenerated in our spirit, we go further, and be transformed in our soul, especially in our mind, which is the main, and leading part of our soul. Today's reading. To be one in soul means, to be one in our affection, love, thought and decisions. Such oneness is very practical. If we want to experience Christ, we need to be one in soul. If we are not one in our affections, thoughts and decisions, we are not one in soul. As long as we are not one in soul, we are not in the fellowship, unto the gospel. One thought flows from Philippians 1.27 through 2.8. When I read 1.27 years ago, I thought, that conduct worthy of the gospel, was behavior, that was perfect before those, to whom we preach the gospel. But this is not Paul's meaning here. Paul does not speak here, of loving our wives, submitting to our husbands, honoring our parents, or behaving in a kind, lovable manner. Rather, he tells us to stand firm, in one spirit with one soul. If we are not in one spirit with one soul, then our conduct is not worthy of the gospel. No matter how many of us, there may be in a locality or on a campus, in our preaching of the gospel, everyone must be fully impressed, that we are in one spirit and with one soul. Nothing is more convincing than this. When all the members in the church, are in one spirit with one soul, this oneness will be convincing, subduing and attractive. When we have such a subduing, and convincing oneness, we will experience Christ and enjoy Him. We will enjoy Christ, by being in one spirit with one soul. By preaching the gospel, we express our oneness, in spirit and in soul. When we preach the gospel in this way, we have the enjoyment of Christ. The more we preach like this, the more we enjoy Christ. We will be able to say, we don't care mainly for how many souls are saved, or for how many people are brought to the Lord. We are enjoying the Lord. We will be full of enjoyment, and the preaching of the gospel will be a feast. If we do not sense that we are feasting on Christ as we preach the gospel, something is wrong. We lack the oneness in spirit and in soul. But if we are in one spirit with one soul, the number of people saved through our preaching of the gospel will be secondary. The primary thing is that in the course of our preaching, we will be feasting on Christ and enjoying Him. We will have not only experience, but also enjoyment. If we would remain in the fellowship unto the gospel, by the bountiful supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, we need to be in one spirit with one soul. In Philippians, the special point regarding the experience of Christ, is this matter of being with one soul. Being one in soul is not only for the experience of Christ, but even the more for the enjoyment of Christ. Our experience of Christ should also be an enjoyment of Christ. For example, children may eat food under the threat of being disciplined if they do not eat, but they may not enjoy what they are eating. Likewise, if we are merely in one spirit, 
we may experience Christ, and yet not enjoy him. To experience Christ with enjoyment, we need to be in one spirit with one soul. This is the end of day 2 of message 3.